Welcome back, nerds. It's round three here. It's Matt and Canyon. Neither one of us mulliganed, and I won the die roll. I'm gonna lead on a swamp. Pass the turn. I don't start my drawing. Splendid Angel. Pass. You gain five more of this turn. Five or more life, do you have to sacrifice a four four angel? No, that would be one of these made up rules. Yeah, pass. You gain negative five life, though, yeah. right? Perfect. That's how that works. Yeah. Legion Angel. Yep. You have to count it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I would prefer you to not get extra cards, but. Thanks for that. <laughs> comes in untapped. And that's 
for the full cost of six. Okay. Move to combat. Mm -hmm. um, I'll use its ability to give something lifelink. Mm -hmm. yeah, leading angel lifelink. Attack for seven. Go to ten. You go to seventeen? Correct. Field Temple fetch. Is this you get just creatures that get exiled? Correct, yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Yep, and then you get a basic. Because it's six. I was looking at that. Mm -hmm. um, the Resplendent Angel. And then... Nope, I still can't attack because it's a bad door. How fast? comes in, Giada comes in, again, 8 life, Legion Angel in there. It's a 5 4. Yeah, 5 4, giving okay. lifelink to um, Legion Angel. Okay, I'll double block there. Okay. So take 4, put you to 6. Okay. He's exiled. And then you gain 4. Is he exiled yeah, before that? Yeah, they all die the at the same time, so it'll get replaced. Uh, 6, 29. And that's my turn. Oh, I guess, I guess, yeah. Well, two is lethal. I needed to do it in the other order. Okay. I didn't even think about that. Pay more attention. I'm missing like 17 million land drops. Really yeah. helped me there. Yeah, did a lot of nothing there for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This deck has not been cooperating. 
tonight. Um, Sometimes that's just how it goes. One week it'll do like really good, and then the next week. How does that happen? Variance. is the best removal spell and like people are like giving me shit for running other removal spells but I couldn't fatal push anything on your board yeah. that whole game I had three of them in hand yeah like ugh it's obnoxious yeah there's other good removal spells like why are you running cut down it's a shitty spell Guess. Yeah. How many times I've had a fatal push in hand and I'm staring at an Adeline, on a 1 4 Adeline? I'm like, cool. That literally one single creature is going to take over this game. Or just about anything, like anything else. I had a fatal push against Garrison with Notion Thief. I'm like, cool. Cut down would be great here. I'll play first. Of course. Do you ever use like people complaining as like a way to tell them to come in and play? <laughs> no one ever takes me up on the challenge. When people like talk mad shit in the comment section, I'll be like, "Oh, I went to your YouTube channel. Turns out you don't have any content. Why don't you? Why don't you record yourself playing F and M? Because that's the thing people don't understand." You're making mistakes. Yeah. You're casting spells for the wrong mana. You're like resolving things wrong. You're forgetting triggers. Yeah. You just don't know it because you don't have a camera watching you. Yeah. And, this and then you have the audacity to go and talk shit to someone on the internet. Yeah. And people should try to play good, but this isn't the world championship right. here. I'm more likely to remember your missed triggers than my own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, I'll try it. I'm good. Again, like you can keep playing. The number of people that would have said push on his turn, and then you go to your turn and you're like brave the elements. Yeah. <laughs> like just throw away your cards, people. Yep. Uh, results. All right, I'm good. Uh, I will. Uh, I'm not just grass. Yeah. We're only running two. Like, I don't know if you're going to tap out or leave up one white, you know? Yeah. Attack for two. Take two. Um, 25.
parts of the car. Yeah. Um, the same. Yeah. So you can respond. I'll go for it. Not too serious. You got it. So yeah. he doesn't yeah. have the brave the elements. That doesn't. from a single grade. I don't think I wrote down my life gain. Or I don't think I changed my die for my life gain. So I had 28 to 26 on Swift End. I'll just leave it at 26. I don't think I changed that. I think I wrote. Yeah. I'll gain two, so you'd be back up to 28. Yeah, but my I think my die was wrong. I'll just leave it at 26. Um, go ahead. I wrote down stuff, but I don't know. Like, this is the problem. Like with the dice and the life pad. So it makes a difference in the end, oh well. <laughs> you lose by two, yeah. 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 I don't want to be like, well, I wrote it down, so it must be true. Yeah. So I had to get the visual aid. Teach these youngins old cards. <laughs> Just an angel. Mm -hmm. That's my turn. Counter. Counter. See? I'll remember yours. Uh, E2. Is it other? Trigger. No, it's all angels. You already control. Enters each enters with one for each angel you already control. I think they'd get two because you control these. Okay. I think. Me, 
Um, I think I've been doing that wrong if that's the case. Let me do a Google. It's Giada. Mm -hmm. See if there just happens to be a, like a Reddit post. I've been playing it where it comes in the extra counters on it. It makes a difference because that's how much life I gain. I'm right just now, okay. Okay, this is the question. I have Giada, irrelevant creature, and two other angels. When I oh, that's not what I want. like it's the ones already in the battlefield, doesn't it? Yeah, that's my interpretation. Mm -hmm. I'm not finding the exact... exact ruling. Uh, let's scrap that one. No, that won't tell me, like, the ruling with collected company. <laughs> each angel you control means each angel you control other than the angel entering the battlefield, including Giada. Doesn't matter if some or all other angels on the battlefield enter after Giada. Um, so sounds correct. Sounds like the two that are already there. Yeah. My brain's not working this week. the same time like if this entered by itself it would come in with two mm -hmm. and if this entered by itself it'd come in with two mm -hmm. but if they're entering together I would think they see three right so one of them would get two and the next one would get three no because they enter it together but it's for each angel you already control so if you let's say you cast this it would come in with two, right? Because mm -hmm. it would be, you already control these. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm thinking they both come in with three. Okay. Because when they come in, they see that you control three other angels, right? Okay. So that's what I'm guessing. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. I don't know, I might be wrong. I don't really care. Probably um, losing this game <laughs> by two life. Uh, so, um, so this comes in, Precious Valkyrie sees it. That's six more life I gain from its toughness. Yeah. But it would also have another counter. So it should actually be seven, because it sees okay. Precious Valkyrie. Okay. So this has four. I gain seven life. By 21. You don't have anything that flies. Nope. In combat. Um, that's Vigilance. Yeah. Yep. That's Four it. and two. So six. six total. Go to 20. Yep. Go to and then you make end step. Angel. I get an angel. I'll gain four life. I'll get another counter here. And it'll come in with a bunch of counters on it. Uh, yeah, four counters. Yeah. It's nice. Four counters. Yeah. Actually, we'll so we we'll just call it. Okay. Yeah, I have yeah, nothing. So, good games. Good games.